Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is Tristan, he's a corgi. And this is another episode of Conversations with a Corgi. And today we're gonna finish up our talk about using tuning forks in healing and wellness for your pets and your horses. And we have looked at some of the benefits of tuning forks, including relaxation, um, getting your brain waves into a deeper state, balancing the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, that fight flight with the rest digest response in your animals. We have talked about using tuning forks for animals in hospice care and for animals crossing the rainbow bridge. And we have talked about using tuning forks for animals that have such significant trauma that they cannot accept hands-on body work without the use of tuning forks to get into their energy field in a safe and comfortable way. We've talked about the benefits of tuning forks, including giving movement to areas of the body where there is no movement because movement equals health. And so um, we've also talked about using tuning forks in a way to do um, a bit of a chiropractic adjustment, putting movement into a spinal segment. Um, a kind of gentle joint mobilization in an area where there is reduced movement. So one thing we haven't talked about yet is the solfeggio frequencies. And that is a six tone scale that is used in sacred music. And in fact, you can get a set of tuning forks that are in tune with the solfeggio frequencies. You will know these frequencies if you've ever listened to Gregorian chants, which a lot of people are familiar with. And it's believed that listening to this type of music imparts spiritual blessings, especially when sung in harmony because those frequencies vibrate throughout your body. And each tone is required to bring energy balancing for the mind, body, and spirit in order for that to be in perfect harmony. And those six frequencies include 396 Hertz, which liberates fear and guilt, 417 hertz, and these are fairly low sounds, uh, which undoes a situation and facilitates change. 528 hertz, and remember, the universal healing fork is a C at 128. So at 528 hertz, we're bringing about transformation, miracles, and DNA repair. At 639 hertz, you are enhancing connection and relationships. And at 741 hertz, you are facilitating expression and facilitating solutions to issues. And at 852 hertz, you return to a spiritual order. And as we've looked at in the past, these angel tuners, which are very high, are at like 4,000 hertz. So that's some information about the solfeggio frequencies. And people are often asking me, what music can I play for my dog to help him relax? Gregorian chants is actually a really good choice because of the long sustained tones with that, the harmonics, the vibrations, very sensitive um, a dog is with the hearing that he has. And so the vibrations of the Gregorian chants would be a good thing for your dog. One of the other things we haven't talked about yet with tuning forks is some of the more scientific information about how and why they work in addition to the idea of resonance. When I play a, a sound on the piano, all the keys around it vibrate. There is something called cell puffing, which was discussed in 1998 by Foucault, Ignario, and Murad, who won a Nobel Prize for discovering that cells produce and release nitric oxide. The nitrogen atom is bound to the oxygen atom and released. So this phenomenon is described as puffing, the rise and fall of the nitric oxide coming and going from the cells in, the, in that gas. It's a wave, it takes about three minutes to rise and three minutes to fall. And many people, including myself, who are very sensitive hands-on healers can feel this almost in a body. The rising phase sends a signal to the cells to relax. So as it's puffing up, relax, relax, relax. And then the falling phase, where the nitric oxide dissipates, the cells become more active, so they're more stimulated. And just as in craniosacral therapy, the calm between that rise and fall is called a still point. And in craniosacral therapy, 
a still point is a pause in the craniosacral rhythm, which is the movement of the spinal fluid from the sacrum to the brain and back. So this puffing of cells is a universal source of health and well-being, and that buildup of nitric oxide, we're familiar with lactic acid in muscle cells, but that nitric oxide, if it is not released, can cause damage to the cells, and there are many supplements now that talk about um, that possibility and uh, have a remedy for it. So benefits experienced from cell puffing include better cell vitality, vascular flow improvement to the cell, and also heart healing. So this again goes along with many of the ideas in T-Touch where we're waking up the cells and sending light to the cells as we do T-Touch work. And the idea of heart healing corresponds with what we love in T-Touch as the heart hug. This puffing destroys bacteria and viruses at a micro level, and that enhances the immune system, which increases our ability to fight disease and infection. It also increases the puffing, our resistance to stress. So having good puffing in your cells and releasing that nitric oxide helps you have greater vitality and stamina. And there's some thought that part of aging is that you don't release that nitric oxide as well. And one of the things that um, many people who know the Beamer, that's B-E-M-E-R, which is a mat that you lay on that stimulates microcirculation in your blood vessels, uh, the Beamer may in fact help enhance the cellular puffing and that may be another reason why people who use it feel vitality and stamina. Um, you also, because of cellular puffing, get sharper mental clarity and a decrease in depression because your autonomic nervous system is balanced. That stress, that fight flight is balanced with the rest digest so that you aren't experiencing depression. And also because of that, you'll get improved digestion and natural cleansing in your systems. So research has demonstrated that placing a tuning fork on a bone or on connective tissue creates resonance throughout the body in waves, which causes the nitric oxide to spike and then go back down. So research suggests that listening to tuning forks even can cause spikes in that nitric oxide level and re cause relaxation as a result. The forks can cause the nitric oxide levels to spike and then the cells will resume that rhythmic puffing if they've been too clogged up or if there's been a scar or a wound or an injury to the area and that puffing is interfered with, the tuning forks can cause that to come back because of that idea of resonance that when I play one key on the piano, all the keys around it also are vibrating. So uh, cell dynamics research conducted with this, the C128 tuning fork, um, has resonated with a proportion called the golden mean. And this is one of the ones that is particularly good to enhance cell puffing. Oh, I don't have anything good to hit it on today. And of course you can't even hear it. There's that low hum. Tristan, are your cells puffing? Do you see him getting smaller and larger as his cells puff? So this idea of cell puffing is another benefit of using tuning forks. And again, it gets back to that basic idea of enhancing cellular function, of giving your body everything it needs to be in balance, because our bodies are miraculous self-healing mechanisms. And if we can just engage the power of the body, people can be cured of many things which is part of what's happening with this new cancer research with using the body's own defense system um, and stem cells to try to use your own immune system to fight the type of cancer you have. So anything we can do to enhance the power of the body can really enhance our health. And that is an important part of what the tuning forks can give to our pets and to ourselves. And as I've mentioned before, if you can only get one fork, this C 128 Hertz, which is about $65 or so from Biosonics, is a really good one to have. It's great to use on your dog's sacrum for grounding, um, helping him relax. I think it really had a good effect on my dogs with DM. I think it helped them. So you can get one for that. You can also use it with cats to help them relax, or if they have a 
a vertebral segment that's often out. Tristan's often sore in his shoulders because he's short and he does a lot of jumping. So sometimes I'll just use this here to give him a little relief in that area. It's like the tiniest little massage. It's like mini magic fingers because of that vibration going throughout your body from wherever you place it on the body. So we've really enjoyed bringing you the series of talks on Conversations with a Corgi about the wonderful tuning forks and the music and the sound and the vibrations that you can bring to your and your pet's life from the high pitched sound of the angel tuners and to that low hum, I can't, that low hum of the C128 fork and the even lower hum of the ohm fork. We've seen many, many different uses for the tuning forks. And one of the most important things about the tuning forks is that they can help you and your animal have a greater experience of health and expansion and transformation of consciousness and even transcendence because they do put you into a deeper brainwave state the more you use them. And tuning forks can bring your body and your animal's body into a natural alignment so that you can achieve ideal balance for your pet in many of his body systems. And so it's been really a joy to be able to share this information with you because it's something that any of us can do with our animals. And in fact, if you have a stringed instrument like my harp or a piano or a guitar in your own home, you will find that playing that will benefit your animals a lot. So if you have an animal who's suffering with any kind of um, systemic issues such as Lyme disease or cancer or um, you know, many, many things that we struggle with our pets sometimes, the stringed instruments can bring them a lot of peace and also you as well. So this has been Sally Morgan and Tristan Corgi, who's still a little tired from his rally day yesterday. And today we've been talking about how you can use tuning forks to benefit you and your pet. And we'll be moving on to some other areas next week. And that will be fun too. So we'll see you then. Boy, these glasses really catch every reflection. I have some new ones that are uh, shielded with some kind of stuff for reflection, but they aren't here yet. Corgi music the second time means there's a snack coming pretty soon. He gets pretty excited. And also, as we are experiencing Hurricane Irma in Florida and still recovering from Harvey in Texas, um, again, we'd like to end with a heart hug to send strength and courage and peace to everyone impacted by these hurricanes, including the animals in the area. Just make that circle in a quarter as you inhale and exhale. And you can do the same thing on your dog if you happen to have him on your lap like I do. So have a great day, everyone. Enjoy some time with your pet when you can. And take some time to send love to those who are impacted by these terrible hurricanes. Thanks for joining us today, and we will be back on Wednesday morning with another episode of Conversations with a Corgi, because Monday and Tuesday, we'll be at our job as educators. Thanks for joining us.